The user-friendly Miami J system is known for its superior cervical spine immobilization through multiple clinical studies. The Miami J is bioengineered to minimize pressure points to ensure patient comfort, enhance compliance, and help speed recovery. For years, the Sorbitex padding on the Miami J has proven superior to cotton foam pads in performance and patient protection. We've just made the best better. Sorbitex 2 manages moisture with a 46% decrease in top wetting time, is more breathable with 12% greater air permeability, and advanced antimicrobial treatment. There are four keys to remember when fitting the Miami J collar. Size it up, scoop it up, snug it up, and skin care. The Miami J collar sizing is phenotype driven. Using the label on the collar packaging, the Miami J badge card, or wall chart, you can quickly and accurately determine the appropriate collar size. Start with the phenotypes on the left and ask yourself the following questions. Does your patient have a kyphotic chin on chest neck? Consider using the Miami J Super Short Collar, common for geriatric, osteoporotic, or ankylosing spondylitic populations. Does your patient have a very large neck circumference? Consider using the Miami J Stout Collar, used for patients commonly referred to as no neck, typically obese patients or those with massive shoulders. Does your patient have a neck circumference 25 inches or greater? Consider using the Miami J Bariatric Collar. Does your patient have a very short, thin neck? Although rare, the Miami J Extra Small Collar Size is principally used for females with a very short neck circumference and short neck height. Does your patient have a long, tall neck? Consider using the Miami J Tall Collar, common for young women and adolescents, and those referred to as swan neck. Is your patient female? Consider using the Miami J Regular Collar, the standard size for mature women or thin, mature men. Consider using the short collar for all other adults that do not need a specialty size. This is the standard size for mature adult men or short-necked women. A quick collar size check is an optional alternative. Use your fingers to measure the vertical chin to shoulder distance. On the collar, this measurement corresponds to the distance from the top of the Velcro strap to the bottom edge of the collar plastic. Many Miami J collars come with an extra set of Sorbitex 2 liners. Please keep the extra liners and the sternal pad with the patient's belongings, in case the collar is prescribed for long-term or at-home use. Now that you have chosen the correct size, it's time to apply the collar. At least two persons are needed for initial collar placement, one to maintain the patient's head and neck in proper alignment, the second to fit the collar. Remove any pillows from behind the patient's head. Position patient with arms to the side, shoulders down, and head centrally aligned. Slide the Miami J back piece behind the patient's neck and center it. Ensure the blue Sorbitex padding extends beyond the edge of the plastic. Flare the sides of the collar front out. Slide it up the chest wall and scoop it up under the chin. Curl the end snugly against the patient's neck. The sides of the collar front should be oriented up off the trapezius and towards the ears. Secure the Velcro straps, then tighten straps alternately, one at a time, to an equal length on both sides. Velcro straps should be aligned and oriented blue on blue to the front adhesive sections. There should be equal amounts of excess Velcro overhanging which may be trimmed if need be. A properly applied Miami J will look like this. The collar extends from mandible to just below sternal notch. Chin is centered comfortably in chin support and does not extend over or within chin support. The front of the collar should be angled up towards the ears and the sides of the collar back should overlap the sides of the collar front. Lower plastic edges should not be resting on the patient's clavicles. Velcro straps should be oriented blue on blue with both straps the same length. Straps should not have any slack or gaps. Collar back should be centered so that the tracheal openings and posterior vent are midline. Sorbitex 2 pads should extend beyond all plastic edges. If you are deciding between two consecutive sizes, try the smaller size first. 
there should be a finger gap between the tracheal opening and the neck. If the collar is fit too closely or tightly to the neck, size up to the next collar size. Use the largest size that fits comfortably and maintains the desired treatment position. To ensure proper sizing, it is a good idea to fit operative patients prior to surgery. Collar size may be incorrectly identified in the presence of post-operative dressings and swelling. Miami J fronts and backs are interchangeable. However, this is rarely necessary. Is your patient a child? For your smallest, most important patients, Oser offers the Miami Junior Pediatric Collar Line. These collars are specifically engineered to meet the unique anatomical needs of children during the growth transition from birth to adolescence. Is your patient on bed rest? The Ocean Back is a comfortable alternative filled with Intuitec memory foam to increase patient comfort and reduce skin breakdown. The Oser Academy team offers education for you and your staff on the most appropriate use of our spinal products. This includes in-services for Miami J users, resources to support in-house training, and online education. Visit oser.com academy for more information.